Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I make bistec borracho and this recipe is excellent for a weekday meal. You'll need one pound of beef steak. Today I'm using tender sliced beef chuck and some of you might know it as bistec. One beer, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cumin, three garlic cloves, a small bunch of cilantro, one onion, two tomatoes, one roasted red bell pepper, one roasted poblano, one jalapeño, one cup of water and combined with one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, and a little bit of oil. To your bowl, you wanna add your thinly sliced beef. Next, you wanna add your seasonings, which are black pepper, salt, ground cumin. We're gonna follow that by adding our chopped garlic and chopped cilantro. Sprinkle in your sliced onion and douse it with your beer. And make sure to save some for yourself because you deserve it. Combine all your ingredients and set it to the side for 10 minutes while you start on your rice and your beans. Place your burner on a medium heat and drizzle a little bit of oil. The beef has been marinating for about 10 minutes. You can leave it anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. The longer the better, but we're moving quickly here today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on our hot pan and we're gonna sear it on each side for one minute. It smells so good, it smells like my uncle in here. <laughs> and after two minutes, you're gonna remove your cooked beef. We're not done with it, we're just gonna set this to the side. And once you're done cooking your beef, uh, you're gonna notice that your pan has a little bit of uh, the delicious flavoring at the bottom, and you're gonna add your tomatoes. Mmm, that smells so good. We're gonna continue by cooking our tomatoes for two more minutes. After two minutes, you're gonna add your beef. Your peppers. Add your chicken broth mixture. Your borracho marinade. Woo, look at that deliciousness. It's a party in the pan. Give that a good mix and make sure that you're getting all that delicious flavor from the bottom of your pan to incorporate into this delicious broth. I'm currently on a medium heat and I'm gonna keep it this way for another 15 minutes. If for some reason your pan gets too hot, go ahead and move that to a medium low. After 15 minutes, your bistec borracho is gonna look just like this. If you want your sauce a little bit thicker, you can continue to cook on a medium low for another five to eight minutes, but this is absolutely perfect and exactly what our family loves. I don't mean to, you know, ruin the fun here, but I've tasted this broth about five times and I just wanted to have it in a bowl with soup and that's it. It's that good. And boom, done. Just like that, you have an easy weekday meal. One of the things that I am gonna say to you is that depending on the cut of beef that you're using, you might need to cook it for 25 to 30 minutes or you can get away with anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It really depends on how thin you slice your beef. Mmm, wow. Yeah, the broth is amazing in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a party in my mouth. <laughs> Especially with the roasted peppers, so, so good. Yummy. Well, I need to warm up a tortilla so that I can finish this plate. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you and we want to give a special shout out to the Views Club because without you, we wouldn't be here. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.